In today's video, we are going to be building a crayfish trap that can catch super tiny crayfish just like these. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so here's the door with the screen in it that I picked up off the road for free yesterday. And what I wanna do is I wanna turn this screen into crawfish traps. And they're gonna be designed specifically for the baby crawfish, the ones that are super small. And the reason that we're using this screen is because of the size of the mesh. You can see it there in relation to my finger, how small the mesh is. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by cutting. Our screen has been released here. Just a hollow frame left. So, one thing I didn't realize is just how flimsy this screening is. It's literally like there's no structure to it at all. So what I'm thinking that we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a very small cylinder instead of what I was expecting, which was gonna be a big cylinder, because the trap won't have much weight in it. I mean, these crayfish are super, super tiny. So we're gonna make the cylinder small, we're gonna make the hole small, and with the small mesh, it should keep the big ones out because they'll eat the small ones if we don't. And then it'll also allow the little ones in and not let them get out of the trap. Let's give it a shot. Nice. I'm also not sure how we're gonna actually uh, affix these to each other because these holes have to remain super small so I'm not sure if zip ties will work or maybe we'll have to get some really small zip ties. This is plenty long enough so I'm gonna cut this in half. Starting to look like a trap there. Got the cylinder done. I was gonna use mono fishing line just to uh, fix each end to each other but instead I was thinking that would take quite a while. So instead we're gonna use a stapler. Just using this tape here, it'll hold it in place kind of while uh, I line it up a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but it really doesn't have to be. Let's see if this idea is going to work. It actually doesn't look that bad. Oh yeah, it's going to work. I think those five staples weigh more than this whole trap does in itself. Well, like a hundred staples later, uh, we got the, the cone done at least. I think it's going to work. I think it's definitely going to have to sit on the bottom like this because all those staples, uh, they weigh way more than the actual screen itself. But I think if we add some cones and then a way to get them out, uh, also a way to weigh it down to the bottom because this will just float off in any current at all, I think it's going to work. I really hope it works at least because that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I know it looks like a hack job, but okay, so now I got the piece that we're going to use for the cones. It was essentially the other end of that one. And I think what we're going to do is just cut this in half and then fold this into a cone and it should work pretty well. So I think that this whole size is going to be good. It's kind of oddly shaped, but I want them to be able to get in there. And the reason that the whole size is so stinking small in this trap is because if the big crayfish get in there and they run out of food, they're just going to start eating the baby crayfish. And uh, we don't want that, obviously. I'm just going to cut some little relief cuts here so I can fold it over the uh, edge of this cone. Just like that. See how I got it folded over right here? That should prevent them from uh, getting out. So originally what I was going to do was just going to put another piece of screen around the end here and staple it on, but that wouldn't work to get the bait in or to get the crayfish out. So instead what we're going to use are these little uh, office clip things here, and we're just going to fold this over after we put the bait in it obviously. Clip this on, fold that down, 
and then just repeat the process on the two edges and that shouldn't allow any of the crayfish out that'll give us a good way to get the bait in and uh, also help weigh the trap down so I think it's gonna work okay so in preparing what food I was gonna use I realized that they would be able to just kind of lay on top of this mesh and depress it super easily so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a can of cat food we're just gonna crack it barely and then uh, hopefully in this configuration <laughs> they'll crawl in through the cone and hang out in this area of the trap trying to get to the food rather than just sitting on the outside and picking at it. But uh, I'm not really sure. I didn't take that into account. And I'm not sure if they'll just feed from the outside instead of actually going in. Let's go get this thing set out in the water. I got to check some traps anyways. Yeah, we'll see how it works. Okay guys, so I just saw a couple of those small crayfish down in there, and I think this is where we're gonna set up our trap. We got some little cover here, nice little rocks. Really not looking for the big crayfish, we're looking for the little tiny ones. And I think this is gonna be a good spot for them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up, take this can of cat food, just pierce it just a little bit, like that, not much at all, just to get a little bit of scent out into the water. And we're gonna, ooh. Can smell from here stinky and we're just going to put it in here we're actually going to put it in a little bit further than I expected try and get this to stay open near the funnel you know and also encourage them to come in pull that like that fold this over fold this over one more like just like that We'll put a clamp on the back here, grab our other two, clamp it just like that, fold these over, maybe that'll help keep it in place. Now we just need to put it in the water and see if it's going to work. We got the cone for them to crawl in, kind of see the hole in there maybe. Got everything sealed up. Let's see if it'll work. I just worry that it's gonna kind of pinch over and not allow them in, you know? We got it placed right here. That should work. What we'll do is we'll put some rocks over the top here. Not only camouflage it, but also weigh it down a little bit. Could probably position these rocks to keep open the sides too. Pressing that down, really get that scent out into the water. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's kind of tucked nice in between those rocks. It's almost hard to see from up here, but it is there and it is set up. So I think that's going to work pretty good for these little guys. It's funny, guys, I was just getting some underwater shots with the other GoPro here, and uh, some crayfish are actually already showing up to investigate this thing. I really pressed down on the lid quite a bit in order to get some of that food to come out and that scent. And uh, <laughs> there's another one right there. And uh, anyways, I really think it's gonna attract them. Hopefully get those small ones to actually go into the trap. But we'll be back in about 24 hours to check it out again. Oh, okay, there it is. Had some trouble finding this. Oh yeah. I see at least five in there. Oh, and there's one out there underwater too. Just probably still trying to get in and another one. Dang, I wonder how many are in there. I can't believe that thing worked. I was worried it was going to get dragged off by like the turtles or something, you know? Okay, I'm going to have to be super delicate getting these out because they are pretty soft shell and uh, I don't want the can of food or a rock to land on them and... Well, they like the cat food. Well, there's probably 10 of them in there maybe. How should we do this? Alright. 
get our little clamps off here. Like I said, gotta be careful with them just because of how, uh, how delicate their shells are. I can't intermingle the big ones with the little ones. The big ones will kill these guys. All right, slowly open up. This trap is so stinking flimsy. And take the cat food can out. I guess that's it. Oh, we got an escapee. Let's see if we can't get him. Ah, got him. Oh, it looks like one must have got eaten by his friends in there or something. They aren't too uh, friendly to each other. A lot of people think that these crayfish and everything are super nice and friendly to each other, but they're actually pretty aggressive animals. That worked out perfect though. Kept the big ones out, got the small ones in. Probably got about a dozen there, I'd guess, or so. Maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna rinse them off, get that cat food stuff out of there, because that stuff really stinks. Probably isn't good to have them in there anymore. Put the uh, container on them just to get them to the truck, and we'll be good. I'm not gonna transport them with water. Feel like little bee stings. I'll just transport them with that much water in there. That shouldn't hurt them. The problem is, is that they'll run out of oxygen if they don't have much water, or uh, excuse me, too much water in the uh, the bucket or the tank that you take them out of the water with. So you really need aeration if you're going to be submerging them. There's all our little guys. Close that up. Got to get moving. Put that in the bottom there. Make sure we don't leave any trash because enough people do that on their own. And we'll check these two traps. I think we're going to end up pulling these actually. Pretty dang good. They look pretty, pretty good to me. Solid trap right there. Look what they do to this fish. Everything gone off of it that they can absolutely eat. It's crazy what they do to those fish. They just pick them clean almost. Oops, looks like there's a few in this one too. Oh yeah, it's a good day. Well guys, I am actually super, super surprised that this trap worked as well as it did. I did not think it was going to work well at all, just because of how flimsy it is. And uh, yeah, I didn't have high expectations for it. So I was also able to pick up a couple more of the crayfish by hand on my way out of there. And it really wasn't that hard to get them, actually. I guess I could have just done that in the first place. But building the trap was fun and something to do. So at least we proved that it worked. Also, if you enjoy crayfish videos, feel free to click any of these videos right around here. There are other ones that I've made, and I think that you'll enjoy them. I'll see you guys in the next one.